Hey, I thought I'd show some gameplay for Skyforce Reloaded. Go ahead and turn the music down really quick. I used to get many, many complaints about that before, and <laughs> make sure that it's, it's uh, audible now. So if you like Tyrion, uh, if you're old enough to remember Tyrion, or you've played one of the uh, the homebrew open source versions, like it's it's been free on GOG for a while. It's also available on uh, mobile phones and most portable platforms. This game is a lot like a modernized version of that. It is a little simpler. Uh, you can't like completely customize everything like you could in Tyrion. You can't have like your own build, but you do have these permanent cards. So there's temporary cards and permanent cards. Uh, the temporary cards, like this one, gives you uh, more stars so you can upgrade easier. This one gives you a random power up, and these only last for 15 minutes. And uh, apparently, this was originally a mobile game, so a lot of this stuff was in there, you know, to, to get more money out of people, like every mobile game. But what they've done here is they've uh, greatly accelerated and rebalanced the progression. Like, I've only been playing for three hours, and I already have. A pretty beastly ship. I just need to get more cards. I only have one permanent card right now, but this one makes it so that you can uh, recharge your bombs. So the way the game works is there's only it's only 15 levels, but there's four difficulties for each one. So it's a little bit like most character action games. What's different here is you have to get all four medals on a specific level's difficulty to unlock the next one. Like this one, for instance. Like I have it on normal and hard. I completed all these objectives. And at that point, I unlocked insane. So you start with normal and then progress up. And apparently when you finish the game, you can unlock uh, nightmare mode, which gives you four times the stars. So the upgrades here, uh, health, pretty self-explanatory, main cannon, your wing cannons, which is like your secondary fire, Magnet to uh, get up the to suck up the stars and the power ups, missiles, laser, which is kind of like a, like a cave shmup laser, but it's it's very limited in supply, and you have to spend stars at the beginning of a level or pick them up on site to use them. There's a shield and then a bomb. So I'll go through the first level on hard here. And then I'll show the difference on Insane. Since this is an auto-scroller, uh, one problem I have with this game is that sometimes it's very difficult to see the projectiles. Sometimes a missile will just be like, out of nowhere. <laughs> a little bit of a visibility issue in this game, but overall it's, it's very fun. Uh, if you just want a relaxing game to grind on, I definitely recommend it. You know, some people don't like grinding in these games, uh, they just want a uh, straight experience, but my argument has always been, I really loved Tyrion as a kid, and I played it uh, many years later, like over a decade later on my PSP, uh, when that got released from the source. Good, good, good. And I think it's nice to just have uh, a game with a shmup with RPG elements. And there's countless arcade shmups that are just an authentic experience with no thrills. The progression is pretty quick too. I think it's really fun when you get the uh, bonus stars card and you just grind a bunch of stuff out. Great, great, great. I'm kind of destroying everything right now because I'm only on hard mode. I did a bunch of grinding. Like I said, the grinding's fun. <laughs> And when you start out, you're very weak, and as you get farther in the levels, uh, the difficulty curve does go up. I hear the game is really difficult once you get towards the end game.
like see these missiles here you can see how they kind of blend in I'm not really a fan of that uh, design choice <laughs> and maybe it just takes getting more used to So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show the gameplay loop, and then I'll try one run on it and see. <laughs> I can probably plow through the rest of the game now, but I've been having fun playing on insane and getting all the objectives. Since I got hit and I didn't save all the humans, that's not a perfect run. Stage complete. But it's quite fun to try to get them all at once, and sometimes you won't really be able to do everything without an extra ship or card, or just more upgrades in general. So you can spend your stars in a number of ways. You can spend them here. Or you can use this card radar, which I haven't actually tried yet. So this you use a bunch of stars and you get a higher chance to find a card. <laughs> oh there you go, didn't work. Go ahead and try again. There we go, stage six normal. So I'll go ahead and try that. Mission begins. So you have these technicians which are like passive bonuses, and you can also use some stars at the beginning of a level to get a power up from the start, otherwise they drop on site. So you'll have to get the medals to progress farther in the game. So it's not just shoot everything that moves, and sometimes it'll be very difficult to get certain medals unless you upgraded your plane quite a bit. card I have will give me a bomb. Excellent. There's the card. Tell this has a really high amount of polish, the graphics are also really good as well. It was only $10, I'm guessing what they did is they made so much money off the mobile version that they were able to just sell this for basically nothing. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a $10 shmup to me, it looks like one I'd be more accustomed to paying like $20 or more for. I hope the low price point is working for them, because this is definitely one of the more 
or higher published, uh, polished shmups I've played on Steam. It's not like an ancient arcade board. You can tell how much I'm just trouncing this because I only have normal mode unlocked, but it does get really difficult later on. I think I've died about 30 times, so that should give you a good indication. But unfortunately, you can't go to a higher difficulty until you finish the first one. Almost perfect did that run, that level in one run. Fortunately, I got hit. Stop doing this at once. Stage complete. Yeah, oh, there's a permanent car to reduce upgrades. I think. There we go. Upgrade prices reduced by 10%. So that's the basic uh, gameplay loop. I think the card radar is pretty fun. I'll definitely use that more often. But I just wanted to get this out because I think people would uh, like to play this game but probably don't know about it. Anyway, that's it. I'll have more footage later. Peace.